Hi and welcome everyone. This is Lisa from the Relativity of Paper.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I create shakers for my cards. I'm going to share two different styles with you. The first one is more of the traditional shaker where we use die cuts and uh, 3D adhesive foam and some acetate and then we're going to be doing a super simple shaker. So to get us started, I like to start out with the Crafting Desert Divas Crazy Stitch Frame Dies because it really does make creating shakers really easy and if you're new to shakers, I suggest you start with a good uh, set of dies like this because it just makes it really easy. So to get started, I'm going to be cutting a back panel using that largest die from that set. You see that blue, dark blue panel, that's what you cut for your back panel, a solid piece. And then you want to cut a frame that's going to go over the front of your acetate. So you use the two largest dies from the Crazy Stitch dies to create your frame. Just like any other time you're creating a frame, you just go ahead and do that. And then you're going to flip that frame over and you're going to add adhesive all around the edges of it. And you want to use a really strong adhesive with this because once you lay that acetate down, you want it to have a nice bond between the paper, the adhesive, and the acetate. So just go ahead then and lay down your acetate. Now, sometimes I do die cut my acetate to match my um, frame. Other times, if it's already pretty much the size that I need it, then I'll just go ahead and use it as is and trim off any that I need to. But you see me there, I push down really hard so that I get a nice bond between everything and I don't have to worry about it coming apart. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim up any of the acetate from around this um, edges and I'm using spring loaded scissors for this because I feel like I get closer to the edge of the paper all the way up the edge of the paper with spring loaded scissors as opposed to traditional scissors. So um, if you don't have spring loaded scissors and you've ever thought about trying them, I recommend them. I'm new, I'm fairly new to them myself, but I really enjoy them. So see now you've already got your major components ready for your card. You have your back panel and your front panel. So then the next thing you're going to do is take some double sided adhesive foam tape and you're going to run that along the edges of your frame on the back side there over the acetate and run both sides and with this particular foam that I'm using this is an express it um, double sided adhesive foam it's in the crafting desert diva store it's new in the store but it's perfect with the crazy stitch frame dies because it's the perfect width so to do the top and the bottom all you have to do is cut one piece of that foam and then cut it up the center and then that will fit on the top and the bottom because there is a little bit of difference in the thickness in the sides and the thickness in the top and the bottom and so <clears throat> by just cutting one piece and then cutting it up the middle you'll have a, uh, enough to go uh, to do the top and the bottom and now when you're laying this foam down you got to make sure that you have a snug tight fit you don't want any gaps in that foam so there you saw me, I just went around the edge with my embossing buddy and I've already gone ahead and now poured some sequins down and I'm going to carefully pull the backing off of the foam because if you're not careful with it, what happens is you just saw that. If your fingers or anything sticks to the adhesive and you go to pull it off, any bumping of that will cause those sequins to dance around and then it hops up onto your adhesive. So try to be very careful when you're pulling the backing off of that um, double sided foam just so that you don't have to worry about sitting there picking sequins out of your adhesive. So once you have that done you just go ahead and lay the pa back panel down and give it a really good rub all the way around the edge to make sure that you have a good bond and you've created your shaker for your card. It's so easy, so please don't be intimidated by it. It's super simple. 
And the next one I'm going to show you is, is so much easier. But first I'm going to show you two that I already created um, that I'm going to be using on cards. And I use the Fun in the Sun 6x6 paper pad from Doodlebug, which is in the Crafting Desert Diva store. And I'm also using some of the Crafting Desert Diva sequins. And I'll list the stuff and be sure to link it for you so that you'll um, know exactly what I used and where to get it from. So now for our second shaker card, which I call Super Simple Shaker Cards, you're going to you're going to need a fuse tool and that is by we are memory keepers and there's two different fuse tools out there one is just a regular fuse tool they're both by we are memory keepers but one is just a regular fuse tool you're going to get two um, interchangeable heads with it and then the other is a project life fuse tool which comes with more things so what i'm using to create this card is Project Life 3x4 pouch, and you see there I have one done, and it's so easy to do this. Just go ahead and put your sequins and whatever else you want in your pouch, fold that over, and give it a nice good little crease there so it stays closed. And then you're going to grab your fuse and your guide. Now this guide comes with your fuse tool. And you're going to lay that guide down wherever you want to, to seal your pouch closed. So you can actually create um, pockets within this pouch to hold different little items if you want. And I, maybe I'll do a card where I do some die cuts and seal them up in a pouch with some sequins and do maybe three or four different pouches within one pouch. So then once you're ready to seal it up, you just take your fuse tool, lay that roller down in between that guide there, and just slowly roll it across, and it'll seal it closed for you. And there you have it. You have a super simple shaker. You can put all kinds of stuff in this pouch. I've got a couple that I've sent gift cards in. Um, I like to add die cut pieces that I've cut, die cut and colored with Copics or chameleon pins or whatever your choice is. So just think outside of the box with the stuff you want to put in your shaker because you can do a lot of fun things with these. So here's your traditional again using die cuts, acetate, and foam. And then you have a super simple shaker. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you realize that shakers don't need to be intimidating and that you can do it. And um, just take your time with them and have fun with it. It's the biggest thing. So if you have any questions, just let me know. You know where to find me on Facebook and on my blog. And have a great Wednesday. Thanks.